repeated Bernoulli distribution is basically binomial distribution. So X is success in N Bernoulli trial and uh, X uh, is equivalent to binomial distribution with parameters N and P. Uh, the only addition to the formula is NCX term in the probability mass function. Uh, so we will evaluate uh, mean and uh, variance for binomial distribution. So you have probability mass function. Again on the numerator you have n minus x as opposed to 1 minus x. x takes value 1 to n. You have uh, P taking values from 0 to 1, P plus Q is usually 1. So, so mean with expectation method is pretty much the same. The only difference in this case is the change in uh, probability mass function. X is equal to 0 evaluates the whole term to be uh, 0. So we take the summation from X is equal to 1. So this NP is taken outside and the whole term after NP evaluates to 1. So if you just look at it, it's basically a binomial expansion. So expected value of X is NP. That's the mean term. Now we want to find out the variance term for which you require expected value of X squared. Again, we do the same thing. You sum it up from 0 to N, multiply with X squared. So x squared can be written as expected value of x into x minus 1 plus expected value of x. So we compute uh, x is equal to 2 because x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. Both the terms evaluate out to be 0. The whole right hand term again is a uh, evaluates out to be equal to 1. Now you add this term with expected value of x, which results in np times np minus p plus 1 minus n squared p squared. Simplify this further, a couple of terms cancel out, and you have variance term equal to npq. Now we follow the same. Uh, method that we did last time we find the mean and variance to through moment generating function The moment genetic function evaluates out to be q plus e to the power of t p to the power of n. Now again we find out uh, equivalent generating function which is basically one time differentiation of log of uh, moment generating function. So again the second moment evaluates out to be NPQ. Again you find the mean and variance through method of moments again. This time we don't take the log, we just differentiate it once to find the mean.
so that's the mean term then you evaluate uh, the same function by differentiating it twice 